Hi, I'm Sarah. I'm here with Lauren Jeremiah, and we're discussing guerrilla design and innovation in the industry. The restaurants were great to start because it was a, a billboard, and like everybody knew the spots I was working on, and it was very easy for me to gain traction. And from there, a lot of the tech companies were having coffee or beers in my establishments and asking for my name. So I started working for tech, and then that was just wildfire. I am really inspired by fine art, but I design around art. Like I design furniture and colors and things around art rather than finding art to fit into a space. We do a lot of custom installations. Um, you mentioned the ping pong ball. That's the kind of stuff we get inspired by. Was that, was that a painting that you did with the blue? Yeah, that was over 23,000 ping pong balls that we did. That we dyed different color blues and then we set in a tank, kind of like Connect Four. We've solved a lot of problems with, with crazy installations. And I think that came from my restaurant work. Okay, we have these resources and we have this amount of time. Let's let's make something totally interesting. Um, there's a house in Noe Valley that I did last year. It was for a really young couple and it was just really exciting for them to have their first home. Was there much innovation in that or was it just... Yeah, we had some custom DJ tables for their parties. We did a dining table. I designed a, um, a light fixture for them. So if there's something that was impossible until now, what would it what would it be? I'm really interested and excited about um, LED lights. So I'm working with a business right now that's actually like that can change all of the light fixtures we designed, but their color and like when they go off and have them go off to music and things like that. And that just like creates a whole another layer of, to design. <laughs>